Since the 1990s, the security environment of Southeast Asia has seen both continuity and profound changes. Tensions and sometimes conflict remain an issue. In and between the 11 states in South East, conventional wisdom has held that tension in the area is driving an arms race among its littoral countries. With this growing concern in the region, the Philippines is boosting its coastal defense, which is now pursuing to acquire a medium-range ramjet, supersonic BrahMos cruise missiles, for the first Philippine weaponry with deterrent capability. In this video, we will see how did the Philippine Army and Navy come up with going for India's BrahMos missile system when several other countries and companies are offering similar missile systems, and looking at how much it costs, how many units will there be, but more importantly, we will look at what it is capable of, and when we could see it in action, in mobile firing stations and support systems, like the Linksim LRS system. The Israel Military Industries family of guided rockets has a maximum effective range of 150 kilometers. The project meant for the Philippine Army to hit naval and land targets from the shore. Being able to hit land targets means that it can also use beyond naval applications, like a precision artillery system for long-range engagements. The compatibility to use other guided rocket munitions from Israel military industries, like the Acular rocket, as well as the Delilah short-range cruise missile, made it an obvious choice for any land attack application. But in 2015, the possibility of using Israel military industries offer for a system that can use for both land and naval targets. Israel military industry quickly revised their offering, now using the Linksim LRS, extra and acular guided rockets, but now more intended against land targets, with secondary use against sea targets. The Philippine Army land-based missile system's purpose focused on precision strikes in highly populated areas, like specific buildings within an urban setting, or against hideout camps in the jungle. Aside from the Israel military industry, which include the BrahMos supersonic missile system, which was offered to the armed forces of the Philippines as early as 2016, as well as other land-based missile and rocket artillery systems. Unfortunately, in 2018, as a possible acquisition for land-based anti-ship missile batteries, as it started formulating its anti the BrahMos supersonic anti-ship missile as a land-based system. Surprising, the Philippine Army Ray used the land-based missile system project, while the Philippine Navy called theirs the shore-based anti-ship missile system project. In 20 Western examples, like the RBS-15 naval strike, and others are subsonic missiles, meaning they only fly below the speed of sound towards their target. Meanwhile, the BrahMos is supersonic, which means it flies over or twice the speed of sound. While Russia also has supersonic land-based missile systems, army are wary of the possible effects of buying Russian kinetic weapons, and they believe going to India for a similar product like the BrahMos, developed using Russian technology, after all, would be safer to go with India's product ships and auxiliary support ships. The Philippine Navy, under shore-based anti-ship missile system acquisition project, is planning to acquire three batteries, and while the Philippine Army is looking to acquire two batteries, each battery has three mobile autonomous launchers, and each mobile autonomous launcher carries three ready-to-fire missiles housed in containers, and can be reloaded with additional in pandemic, pushed back the signing until early next year, as the remaining issues need to resolve. The Army sees the delivery of the equipment by 20